Okay, let's look at a, another example. It said a city has a population of 235,000 in 1980, and in 2010 uh, had a population of 208,000. Find the average growth rate over this period. So in this case, we're actually finding R, the growth rate. So let's just label, um, we're using this formula, and let's label what we have before I plug it into the formula. So we know our initial population is 235,000. We know our time from 1980 to 2010 is 30. And in this case also we know Q. We know our ending population and that's 208,000. So what we're trying to find is R. What you should notice is that our, from our initial population to our new population, it's decreased, which means our rate is going to be negative if it's decreasing. So let's plug these values in to the formula. And I have 208,000 equals 235,000 times 1 plus r raised to the 30th power. Okay, so normally we would say you have to do what's inside the parentheses and then the exponent, but you can't add 1 plus r. Those are not like terms. You can't simplify that. So what I need to do is I need to get rid of this 235,000. The operation here is multiplication, so to get rid of the 235,000, I'm going to divide both sides by 235,000. And go ahead and do that on your calculator, and you'll get about... 0.885 equals 1 plus r to the 30th power. Now the only way I can solve for r here is I have to get rid of this raised to the 30th power. So I'm taking the 30th root of both sides. That's how you get rid of the 30th power. Another way to write the 30th root is you're raising it to the 1 over 30 power. Okay, So I'm going to do that to both sides the 30th root or 1 over 30th power. And you'll see over here what happens when you have a power raised to power, you multiply 30 times 1 30th is just 1. So those cancel out. On the left hand side, you have to do this on your calculator and you should get approximately 0.9959. So don't round to like one or two decimal places. Um, keep it as long as you can until the very last step equals 1 plus r. And so the last step to get r by itself is you just have to subtract 1 from both sides. And when you do that, you get r equals negative 0 0.00406, or if I round 7. So that's the decimal answer. I want to write this as a percent, so move it two places over and I get 0 0.4, I'm going to round, so the 0 0.7 becomes 0.41%, so less than half a percent.